Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Dan. I'm Lockie. And I'm Sam. We're all still studying at university, but together we're revolutionising our industry within Australia. Since we started in January last year, it's been a bit of a wild ride for us. How successful are you guys? Very successful. <laughs> These sharks want to get involved and I hope they've got deep pockets. Yeah, get ready for a feeding frenzy. Look at that focus. First into the tank tonight, a team of fresh-faced high flyers. We've been fortunate enough to meet some great people throughout the process of building our company. The sharks are, are definitely up there and yeah, there's definitely a little bit of intimidation, but I hope that goes both ways. They're wearing Andrew's outfit. <laughs> Hi, Sharks. I'm Jack Cullen. These are my high school friends, university colleagues, and business partners, Sam Lewinson, Lockie Burke, and Daniel Moscaratolo. Today we're here asking for $250,000 for 5% of Jar Education, which is a subsidiary company of our overall organisation. 15 months ago we founded an aerospace company which has had great success and now we want to inspire more students and more young people to chase their dreams. Jar Education provides programs to schools which allow the students to learn through engaging learning we have professional resources developed by teachers for teachers to accompany our drone kits. We also provide in-class mentors such as final year aerospace engineering students to make sure that it's taught in a way that the students will understand. Right now we, we've launched Jar Education last month and in our first three weeks of sales we've generated $35,000 of revenue. So we're asking for $250,000 to expand our sales reach but to also expand our selection of programs within schools in Australia. Okay, 250,000 for 5%. So you're valuing the business at a cool 5 million? Correct. Right. Jack, can you just make it very clear to us what the education is? Sure. Sam's uh, in Head of Education. So our education product is an eight, eight to 12 week long program. We're targeting year fives to year tens initially. And the way we've developed it is to replace classes that they currently take in digital technologies. Right. And the specific content in these products that we're releasing now is a build to fly drone kit. We did pilot programs last year with schools in Sydney that were extremely successful that we generated income from. Just, oh, just want you to clarify one other thing. You threw in an interesting word which was subsidiary. Yes, I thought you might mention that. So in January last year, we founded Jairo Space, which is an organisation that is focused on high-end commercial drone solutions. So we have multiple high-level contracts within that business to develop commercial servicing, commercial manufacturing within Australia. And we've also been having great success with the government and uh, certain government industries to continue to grow those commercial divisions moving forward. We're not looking for an exit in the holding company. We're looking to go to space. Uh, Hang on, Jack, you're telling us you want us to invest in an education facility. Correct. And you're gonna isolate off the sexy part of the business, which is the aerospace and all these government contracts and... We're more than willing to talk about the sexy part of the business, but um, from our research, it seems that the conglomerate's probably not quite the right fit for Shark Tank. Well, mate, you've seen, you seen Baker Shop's Wait. bloody picture here, mate. Well, you're thinking conglomerates are going to be an issue. That's a bit silly thinking, not isn't it? No, no, it's not necessarily that. There's just uh, certain things that we're doing at the moment that we don't want public. No, we're, we we're sophisticated investors, apparently, so we probably are allowed to know what we're going to miss out on, and then maybe we can talk you into putting the whole thing I on the table. I think that might be a conversation we could have behind the doors if that was something we wanted to look at. Well, let's get profit then. Because we need to know if you can actually even make a profit. Uh, so you're talking about profit for the overall organisation? Yeah, because the other one's been going for two and a half seconds. It hasn't just been around for two seconds. Jar ja Aerospace has raised over two million to date. Oh, yeah, that's raised. What's the profit? We've uh, made about $280,000 in revenue since we commercialised our products in Jar ja Aerospace. And of that, um, our profit margins are very good. We've gone above and beyond in making our company 
moving it towards a proper organisation, introducing organisation charts and expanding our board with big four partners, ex-generals from the Army and also a political expert uh, from Strategic Political Council has helped us build our business. <laughs> How old are you, Jack? 22. And you're all about the same age, I guess? 21 and 22, yeah. You guys should really have black suits and should be concealing weapons. You're from another planet. I mean, what kids of your age have political consultants? You're entering the hardest market ever, bloody schools. Yeah, it's very, it's definitely a very difficult industry to operate in, no doubt. And well, it's a strange. I'm glad that's not lost on you, mate. That's strange, fantastic. Um, it's a strange sales model compared to the industries that we operate in in our uh, parent company. I'm, I'm actually really worried about your lack of focus. To be honest, your investors must hate what you're doing. No, so you've, you've, you've taken two million bucks, right? And you're now going to defocus that into education. You're a business out there doing top secret shit in the drone space, right? I don't know what you're doing. You haven't told us, which I think is quite rude, personally. So why is it you're defocusing down here? Education's been something we're extremely passionate about. You can be passionate all you want, mm. right? What, what you do is you can be passionate case, about yeah. your social causes from a position of strength. But raising $2 million isn't a position of strength. A position of strength if you've got $2 million bucks from customers. Do one thing well. Yeah, right now you're about to do two things poorly, I'm guessing. I would respectfully disagree, and I understand Did from I? a commercial case where the where your thoughts are coming from, but we do think that education within Australia and the world is a significant problem. That's that different. Does it is. That. No, it is. It is. But you're a drone business. Yes. And you think, well, I'm also going to cure education. I understand what you're saying. I'm saying that it has the side benefit of increasing our skill base for aerospace, but on top of that, it has excellent commercial backing behind it. Just assume we've been in business before too, right? We probably understand how these things work. Just assume that for a second too, if you don't mind. Maybe we've been there before, and maybe this is good advice. Just maybe think about that, right? Because you're coming across as a tad arrogant in the way you're doing things at the moment. I'm not trying to. I... Well, you're doing it successfully. Richard Branson has moved laterally through 40 companies. Richard Branson is a billionaire. If you do what the hell he wants, right? Mm. Really want to compete off Richard Branson? No. Let's get in this and whip him out, can we? Because that's a stupid comparison to make, right? Yeah. Understand who you are and where you're at the time. You're exceptionally capable blokes. Make JAR Aerospace the thing you put all your energy behind, get filthy stinking rich, and then go and fix education. Well, the... that's how you're going to do it properly and not go broke in both. I'm out. Thanks for the advice. Um, guys, just walk me through the potential. So 10 to 15K per pro program sold, what's going to be your profit margin on that, on a program sold to one school? At the moment, our profit margin, which we are sort of reluctant to talk about due to our market, and I think if you were to invest, it would be silly for us to talk about, but I can say that it's... it's obnoxiously good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason you didn't offer us equity in the holding company? I mean, you're valuing a subsidiary business which has hardly got started, valuing it at five million, that's almost a bit of a game. I feel a bit like, you know, you're the cat and I'm the mouse. I don't know whether you've got loaded revolvers in there uh, somewhere hidden, but you know, it does feel a bit like a hijacking. So what's your real motive for being here? The real motive for being here is to get our program into every school in Australia and there is so, huge commercial so opportunity publicity. in that. You wanted some visibility and publicity. So you don't want an investment? No, we do want investment in education and we've been talking for over three months about subsidising it because we can't have the two brands intermingle, they're separate businesses long term. Okay, guys, you are super, super smart. I'm out. So, Jack, you've got lots of answers. Yeah. Um, but the way that you've valued your business at five million for a business that has, I'm in agreement, it's been in business for two months, I'm not sure how and when we're going to get a return. So I wish you well, but for that reason, I'm out. No worries. Guys, um... You know, you're young guys and you're having a go, so well done. You know, you've unfortunately put a stupidly obnoxious value on the hope that you're trying to paint here today. I would have loved to have heard more about your drone business. You're young, 
you don't know what you don't know and therefore you're just going to plough on, you'll be successful, I have no doubt. Thank you. But I'm out. Cheers. Cheers. Well, you have an incredible amount of poise and uh, intellect for people of your age. It's incredible. Um, and, you know, I, I, you don't make me angry. I know some of my fellow sharks have got a bit cross. I mean, you make me smile because I, I, I listen to your journey and I think it's amazing what you've done so far. Uh, I was out, you know, probably half an hour ago, but anyway. I wish you well. Uh, and uh, let us know how you end up. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous one day. Thanks Thank for your time. Cheers. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Cheers. See you later. I think you're a bit harsh, mate. No. No, no he was they, not. They'd be snapped into reality. They'd, they'd probably got a great aerospace business. Yeah, and they're just having focus. a bit of fun. That's good. Good, bit of motivation. They did not come here for an investment. No, no. it was no. a game. That's why I said I felt like a mouse. I, I, I thought I was a shark, not a mouse. You're a mouse. For those kids, you're a mouse. You're just a toy. Uh, I'm just a toy. Toy. With our education business right now, it's profitable, it has a pipeline, and it's a commercial opportunity that any businessman would be silly to drop. Political consultant. I must Holy. get one of those. I, I'm... I need a couple of political consultants. I think we've got it wrong, Lizzie's, maybe.